What the fuck is this? The 12th official Brackies game jam has just begun. Join the jam here. Oh, don't mind if I join. Who the fuck is- who, who's this? You wanna join a game jam? Uh, yeah. When do you last code? Uh, I'm joining a game jam after not coding in many months. It can't be that hard, right? A game jam is when developers are given the task of making a game within a certain period of time, with a given theme being required to be implemented. Now, I'm participating in Bracky's 12th game jam, which states that participants must make a game within a week, with the theme being calm before the storm. Now, I used to learn how to develop games and worked on my own small projects. However, I've not had any time to code due to exams, which ended two months ago, but we don't talk about that. And of recently, I've been trying to get back into using the Unity game engine, which uh, has been fun. But now that a game jam with over 10,000 participants is happening, I now have a great reason to force my lazy ass to resume my game development journey. Aha, hello, yes, me from the future. Um, I don't know, just... You might be wondering, does this microphone work? No. And why am I recording this? Because the script I made was shit. So I thought, okay, why don't I just improvise something? And uh, yeah, the improvisation is that uh, I had no clue what I was doing. This is like three weeks into the future from that game jam, and I still wonder, why did I participate in that game jam? I don't know. Uh, seven days to make a game. Fun. Especially for someone that hasn't coded in a while. I immediately began planning what game I'll be making and how the Calm Before the Storm theme will be a part of said game. I decided to go with a short horror game that has a cutscene showing the player the main event of the game. With the player knowing what will happen, they can leave before the big bad event happens. But why big bad? Wait, why did I write that? With the game idea planned out, I set up a new Unity project and got to work implementing the player movement and interaction system. The interaction script comes from this guy who clearly knows what he's doing compared to my dumbass. And yeah, now I've learned about events, which is cool, I guess. Anyways, we now need to set up what will tell us about the big bad event. Now, I like analog horror. Are we gay? So I decided to make an emergency alarm system video that plays from a TV, which will tell the player how long they have until the game ends. So I went into my editing software and created the video. I then went into Blender and modeled a TV, which uh, looks kind of bad, but that'll change within the upcoming days. It is now day one, and I immediately got to work by making more models in Blender and already remade the shit TV, and also started planning the level, which will be an apartment, that the player will be moving around in. However, this is as much as I did for today, and I knew that a lot more would have to be done tomorrow. I started day two by setting up a Trello board to organize what had to be done and what I had to add to the game. I then immediately hopped back into Blender and started modeling the apartment. However, it turned out to be complete dog shit. So I scrapped it and instead made a digital clock. I then found out how to display custom time onto text and made it so the video I created would play when the clock hit a certain time. Wow, look at that, it does cool stuff. Wow. Anyways, I started working on a pause menu, added new scenes for cutscenes and made the main menu. Day 3 really didn't have that much, except I made it so the first YouTube video plays on the TV. I started off by completely remodeling the apartment in Pro Builder, which was surprisingly much easier than doing it in Blender. I uh, don't know why I didn't do that in the first place. Anyways, the apartment is now done. However, it looks kind of boring right now, so let's get some textures. Thank you CC0 Textures for the cool textures. I also got this hallway modelled and set up the main menu. Now whilst making the main menu, it took me over an hour to figure out how to save player data, which surprised me because all I had to do was edit like one line of code. Anyways, now we can work on some cool lighting. So all I've got to do is place these here and do some baking and what the fuck? Yeah, I'm done for the day. Alright, so now it's time to make the game look good. And when I mean good, I mean decent. And when I mean decent, I mean shit. So I started by doing some more texturing, which was so much fun. And then I realized that I kind of need to get some more models because right now the apartment is very empty. I now have a decent looking apartment. However, currently there's no sound or music. So let's fix that. So I hopped into Bossy Cub C C Bossy B C Music Thingy and created a very simple song for the main menu. I then went to freesound.org to download some sound effects, and I found some, uh, interesting sounds. I did some quick changes in Audacity and imported them into the game. I also added some more models, and you know what? The game is starting to look alright. But for now, I'm gonna leave that at that, and hit the sack. 
It's less than 24 hours before I have to submit the game, and there's a lot of things to do. Firstly, I started with creating a note on the fridge that tells what the player can do, and it gives a hint of how to beat the game. I then went back to the lighting, and uh, what the fuck? Right now, the game looks kinda clear, and I don't want people to see my terrible models, so I'ma just slap a low resolution filter onto the camera, and to make it even harder to see, I'm going to also throw in some post-processing, which actually turned out to be pretty cool. I also added some text to describe what the cutscene was, and apparently Unity didn't like that idea. And finally, with everything completed, I went into Photoshop to make icons for the game page, built the game and tested it, only of course to find some bugs. However, there were only some small bugs, so surely it wouldn't take me that long to fix. You know, it would only take me about a few minutes at most. After rebuilding the game multiple times, I went to itch.io, set up the game page and finally uploaded the game with 10 hours left. Which yes, was time wasted, but I'm dying inside. So with the game jam finally done, I close the project and go to bed. I wake up to check how my game is doing, and I'm surprised to find that someone actually left a comment. Let's see what it says. But yeah, that's the end of me participating in my first game jam, and also the creation of my first game. A download link will be available in the description, but be warned, the game is at best decent, and it's also very short, just like something else. But feel free to play it if you want, and any type of review will be much appreciated, because I plan to make many more games and build my skills in coding and game development, so knowing what people think will definitely help me for future projects. But yeah, that's the end of this video. Make sure to like, subscribe, all of that stuff, because bigger projects are soon to come, hopefully. And when I say hopefully, I mean maybe. And when I say maybe, I mean possibly. And when I say possibly, I mean. And yeah, this microphone still doesn't work. This is the cable.